Hi everybody! Today we are going to learn how to make a mu, homemade a mu, Korean style fish cake. Are you excited? Many many people requested this recipe. With a mu, you can make soup, stew, and also stir fried together and make a good side dish. We are going to use best of best ingredients. You can't find this kind of a mu in anywhere else. I will show you what I use. This morning I bought this from the, my fish market. Three types of seafood I'm using. The cod, and shrimp. Shrimp makes it very special, very chewy. This guy is squid. Ooh, large, very fresh. This one is, I froze. You can use frozen uh, seafood too. Half a pound cod. So you need to follow my measurement very exactly. Chop this into like small pieces, chunk. So that we can use this food processor later. Very easily we can cut it. Okay, this is shrimp. Last night I transferred this from the freezer to my refrigerator. So now very nice. So it's easily you can peel off the shell like this. Or you can buy just already a shelled, shelled and cleaned shrimp. Cut the back part like this. You see inside clean. But sometimes you will see the line, so take off this. Let's take care of my squid, small squid. So cut it and So remove this way, intestine, lift this. So we are going to make really white color, nice beautiful white color amok. Add this. And then you see the, this part, so simply remove this. So let's chop it up, this is squid. And then put it here. And shrimp. Just around one pound. Okay, let's process this. We need garlic, so two cloves garlic. And also onion. Onion is uh, for one pound, around a quarter cup. So this is a quarter cup. This is my quarter cup. So around there. Salt, one teaspoon, and sugar, one or two teaspoons. I will use one teaspoon. And then we need some pepper. This is a white pepper. So because I like to make the white flesh, so I don't want to uh, mix with other colors. So I'm using just white pepper, but you can use also ground black pepper quarter teaspoon. Some vegetable cooking oil. I will use grapeseed oil, one tablespoon. We need some glue. All these fish is make it really stick together. Flour and starch. So all purpose flour, quarter cup. And this is a potato starch powder. You can use cornstarch too. So potato starch, quarter cup. So total, we dry the flour, so half cup together, right? So quarter cup, quarter cup. So we use this, and then one more, one more item is the egg white. Egg yolk, don't throw away. You can use for your massage. Almost two minutes, I just grind this. It has to be really, really soft, like a creamy. See? Transfer this to the bowl. Really pretty color, white. But if you like to add some, like, a, a more colorful stuff here, 
and I suggested some the green chili pepper, really chopped finely, spicy one. It will give you a good flavor. This thing is just not a flower dough, expensive fish. So I'm going to use this all my scraper. Let's cook. Three cups of vegetable oil. Today we make this way, and in my next video, I'm going to make a side dish with this. You can use this in any dishes. Stir fried stew and kimchi jjigae. Kimchi stew, you can add this. You can make a kimbap with this even. First, just put some oil here. Not sticking. Prevent from sticking. Spread. Okay, then roll. And then so again turn it over this Really low heat, we have to cook. Dry and wipe off with excess oil. So inside is like this. Can you see this? Uh, how elastic it is? Oh my god, it looks good. You can eat it just as a snack, but if you use a skewer, it will look better, right? Like this. So here, ketchup. Serve this to your family or friends or for yourself. And if you don't like ketchup, forget about ketchup, just eat it. Mmm. Mmm. Really delicious. A really good snack. And also, it can be a really good appetizer if you have a big party, just to, you know, small size, make it smaller, chewy and sweet and a little salty. Awesome. Mm. Mm. Today, we made a mook Korean fish cake. I cannot find this kind of a top quality in anywhere. Homemade food is the best. It's a microphone. So I can sing. <laughs> Enjoy my recipe. See you next time. Bye.